My lord, the peasants are revolting. I mean, yeah, they could bathe more often. No, my lord. They are going on strike. They say they have too many bricks to carry. Oh, I know what we can give them. Uh, they're delicious. Oh, hand cards. And they're delicious. Well, hello there. This week I was waiting for some other stuff to dry, then I saw a peasant hand cart on the Modern History TV channel on YouTube, and thought it would be a fun simple build to make. I started off with a bunch of popsicle sticks and split them down their length. Now, I like to split these rather than cut them as it gives them a more random edge. Next, I carved away the edges to make them look rough hewn. If you want to, you can also whittle away at one end to make a little handle for your cart, but you don't have to. One cart needs two long sticks, about 6 cm long and 7 short sticks. I made these about 2.5 cm long. To make the bed of the cart, I made a ring of painter's tape, sticky side out, and stuck it to my cutting mat. This holds the two long sticks in place 2 cm apart, while I super glued 5 of the shorter ones across. You can use PVA here if you prefer, I just happen to have super glue on my desk and I'm lazy. Next, I took a bamboo skewer and cut six one centimeter long pieces out of it. I like to put the knife on the skewer and roll it around to make the initial cut, then snap it off. This leaves a little nub you have to clean up, but if you cut all the way through, the piece tends to go ballistic and you'll never find where it went. I glued three on each of the remaining short sticks, and then glued the whole thing on the bed to make the sides of the cart. Don't worry if it looks a bit wonky, especially around the bottom, because we're covering that up. The cart I was vaguely referencing off had wattle sides, so I got some string out to do that. It's not the right scale, and it looks more like rope than it does willow branches. But I tried this with tin wire, and it was not cooperating. The string will start to fray when we work with it, so I put a dab of super glue on the tip to keep it together. Then I started weaving it in and out around the three posts. When you've got three or four rows done, tuck the end under one of the loops and pull everything together. Just be careful not to pull too hard because this string will break stuff. Soak the string in glue, and once it's dried, you can trim off the ends and repeat on the other side. That's the body of the card then. To keep things simple, I went with a solid wheel rather than a spoked wheel. For each wheel, I glued together two layers of card and cut out two circles, two centimeters in diameter, using a coin as a template. Then I glued the two circles together to give me a single circle four layer stick. The edge is going to be a bit messy, but some fine grade sandpaper sorts that right out. To texture the faces of the wheels, I cut grooves in and widen them with a pencil before drawing on some wood green. You need to push a little to leave an impression, but this will take dry brushing decently. I only did this on one side as the inside of the wheel should never be visible. I also added another card ring and a piece of bamboo skewer in the center, but in hindsight I'd leave this for later because it makes gluing the wheels on a lot harder. To finish off the wheels, I used a piece of bamboo skewer slightly longer than the width of the cart. Just glue it into the center of the wheels. Now, we're not going to glue this on the cart just yet because it makes it much more difficult to paint. As a base coat, I used watered down Mars Black. You can use spray paint, but when working on wood, I prefer to hand paint because it gives an irregular result that looks more natural. I'm not going for a full coverage here. Next, I went for an overbrush with three parts Rosiana, one part burnt amber, and one part titanium white. If you've been here before, this is the exact same mix I used on the shingles on my tower build, but because the base coat isn't as dark, the end result is pretty different. To add more color variation, I stippled some summer green here and there, and finished off with a grey dry brush before gluing the axle onto the cart. These carts can be used to make small vignettes for your scatter terrain, or you can just use them on their own as obstacles or cover. They also make good mobile objectives, and if you want to see what else you can make with the same techniques, click this video right here.